hello friends welcome to my third tutorial on javascript and uh, this is where we left in the second tutorial actually uh, we learned about comments in the second tutorial i have just deleted the comment section because it doesn't make any sense here so in this tutorial we'll be learning about variables i will delete this document right which i have learned in the first tutorial itself now what are variables if you remember studying in school a variable is a value given to it temporarily i will just write a simple example here a is equal to abhilash that's my name ramesh and abhilash or friends by using variable we can substitute as you know here a is equal to abhilash so ramesh and a of friends so this a will automatically substitute abhilash so that's the function of using variable that is you can use it as a data anywhere in the given string so if you have a number of lines here has gone for example a has gone to delhi so here again a is a variable so this is just an example i have given but this is not the syntax which is used in javascript to use a variable in javascript the correct method and the syntax is first you have to type where and then type a or the variable name you can give any variable name for example here i will give a b is equal to and if you want to give a value which is a string then you have to type it in quotes and if you have to type a number then you don't need to give any quotes for example 88 so this is the usual way how you can um, type variables in javascript that is if you are using a if you are passing on a value that which is a string then you have to include it within the quotes and if you are passing a value which is in numericals then you just have to type the numerical value now for example i will display it here document right abhi now here even you whenever you type a variable you don't include the quotes here you just have to type the variable name so now let's see what this displays this should display abhilash in the page so i will just save it and open it in the browser and here you can see it displays abhilash now instead of age if i display here marks as expected it will show the marks here so i think you got the idea so let's uh, cover the part of joining these in the next tutorial that is how we can include both the string as well as the number in a single line using document right so we will cover this in our next tutorial thanks for watching and do subscribe